Good evening. Welcome to the Tuesday, December 11th, 2018 regular meeting of the Clay Township Board. I'm Mary Eckerd, chairman this year, and at six o'clock we're in the community room at the John Hensel Government Center. I'm calling the meeting to order and would ask you to stand for the Pledge of the Clay. <laughs> I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chairman Eckert, I would move that we move item three till after our action items. Do I hear a second on that? Second. All, all in favor say aye. 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 All right. Um, we would like then to move to the approval of minutes. So moved. Seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Public comments. Are, is there anyone here who would like to make a public comment tonight? Seeing none, we'll continue on. I'm now opening um, a hearing on item A uh, under a public <coughs> hearing regarding preliminary determination to enter into one or more leases. Is there anyone who'd like to speak at the public hearing? I almost called on you. All right, I'm going to close the public hearing on item A. We're now opening the public hearing regarding the preliminary determination to issue bonds under item B. Is there anyone who'd like to speak on that? I'm closing the hearing on item B. We're going on to action item resolution number 2018-12-11-01, additional appropriation in the rainy day fund. Doug, where's Doug? Uh, Doug was getting some, some stuff out of the back, but what this, just so you all know, what this is is it's our reconciliation at the end of the year, line item transfers. It's no additional monetary appropriation it's just moving money from excess money from accounts that weren't completely spent down into the rainy day fund and then reconciling other accounts. I would move to approve um, the additional appropriation. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Now we are going to move on. I think. Um, did you want to take a break before we move on to? No, I'm good. All right. Okay. Well, we need to wait for Doug to come back. Yeah. So. You want to do information items? We can. Uh, uh, well, he he just said that we didn't. Here he is. There's Doug. We're all the way. We're, we're all, all the, the way, way to through. the information item, Doug. <laughs> we're all the way to our February meeting, Doug. Where the hell are you doing? <laughs> We've approved your appropriations. We are. Uh, We've, we've gone through everything. And we are now down at the information items, the signing of the nepotism policy. Okay, well that, uh, all that is is your annual uh, uh, nepotism that you need to sign every year. So after the meeting, then we'll, we'll have you sign those, all four of us, okay? Um, so uh, that's all that is as far as the uh, information items. Also, December 27th at 7 a.m., we have another okay. meeting. Okay, 7 a.m. Now I'm not a morning Here's person, you guys know meeting. that. And then for the meetings, uh, our organizational meeting is January 8th, and our annual report meeting is February 5th. I will have a, a breakout for all of our meetings next year, but those two are very important. And also the December 27th, Paul, you have to come back and see us even after Christmas, okay? I'll be there. I'll be there. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> Debbie has coffee on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're moving on now to the motion. Uh, well, actually, we're moving the agenda. <laughs> I can't get it said. The agenda where we tabled. Yes. <laughs> the I have recognition of <laughs> one of those days. The outstanding citizen that we would like to recognize on the township board is Paul Bolin. <laughs> You're our outstanding <laughs> recognition today.
Paul. This is presented to you on January 1st, 2003 through December 31st, 2018 for your 16 years of service to the Carmel Clay community as a Clay Township board member. <laughs> presented this 11th day of December 2018 by the Clay Township Board trustee and staff. Thank we you. love you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey Paul, we're not ready for you to talk. You're not? No, I think the fire department has a the fire department has something they would like to present to you. Okay, all right. I've got a couple comments I do want to make though, but thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, please. Good evening, Township Board members. My name is David Hobbush, and I'm the Fire Chief of the Carmel Fire Department. And uh, Paul, uh, up until just a few minutes ago, I didn't realize that you've been here almost as long as I've been here. So uh, I mean that with uh, sincerity and gratitude on behalf of uh, the entire department. You and this board and all of our trustees that we've had throughout the year have taken uh, such care and attention um, to the safety and the health of all of our members. And um, I would love to say that the American Fire Service is just like Carmel, Clay Township, Indiana. It is not. Um, and part of the reason that we are unique and special is because of the support and dedication of this board and uh, you throughout your 16 years. And we're just very grateful and uh, we wish you uh, much health and happiness in the next chapter. And uh, we have a small token of our appreciation. Um, this is a chief's helmet. Uh, the white signifies uh, a chief officer. And at the top, it says safety. And then obviously, the CFD is for Carmel Fire Department. And uh, the reason that we have safety on here is because you and uh, Clay Township have ensured the safety of 155 members of our organization, uh, which without your support, it would look a lot different when we go out on runs and when we're taking care of our community. And so uh, your service in this board and uh, Clay Township have been an instru instrumental part in uh, who and what Carmel Fire Department does on a daily basis. And so I just wish you uh, all the best and say thank you and congratulations. to job sites. <laughs> Safety. Safety first. Thank you, Chief. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You. I am going to take it off for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> if you don't mind. We have more, except we'd like to have you speak. Okay. All right. Nice of us. No, that's okay. I do have a couple comments I want to make. Uh, <clears throat> Well, I really appreciate the turnout tonight. This was quite unexpected. And I, when I saw Jack Berry and started seeing members of the Dad's Club stroll in, I thought something might be up. And then a lot of police, or excuse me, a lot of fire department members and my dear friend Judy Hagen being here. Um, I just want to tell you this means a lot to me. My family's here, my wife, my two boys, my mother, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, other good friends, um, two sisters-in-law actually. Uh, other friends are here. This is a total surprise. My wife just kept bugging me all day, wanting to know how I was doing, if I was good, if I was coming home first. I thought something might be up. And that was obviously borne out when she walked in. You know, I want you to know the honor that I've had for 16 years working with such wonderful people. I mean, it, it all started with it all started with Judy Hagen, 
and of course Doug Callahan as trustees, but I've also had the honor of working with Rosemary Hensel and Doc Dillon, Mary, and Matt. Um, let's not forget Donna and Debbie, support members of the township board. Tremendous help to Doug. In fact, quite frankly, I think they do your job, Doug. <laughs> We all know it. Let's get it on the open. You'll never see me again, so let's be, let's be, let's be brutally honest. Um, we've done some pretty interesting things here on this board for 16 years. Um, and I'm very proud to have been a member. And, uh, you know, I hate to see the township start to fade away, and it's very possible that it might in the next four to six, eight years. But uh, uh, it's been my privilege to be a member of of this board and I was on the uh, board of the Carmel School Board for eight years along with Bruce Breeden my dear friend <coughs> Steve Backer uh, that's kind of what laid the foundation for my becoming a member of the township board um, so thank you for everybody being here I do want to leave you with this thought I'm being replaced by a hell of a good guy Paul Hensel will be an outstanding board member I've known him since high school it, there could not be a better person to take my place. My goodness, his father was trustee, his mother was a longtime board member. Most importantly, Paul is a great guy, engaged in the community, and he will do a wonderful job. So if I had to get beat, I'm glad I got beat by somebody like him. So everybody, thank you for being here. I love you all. I appreciate the support. The Dad's Club, special place in my heart. We've got the best fire department in the country. Frankly, we've got the best parks department in the country, not to mention a tremendous, tremendous police department and school system. So thanks very much. It's been an easy thing to do to be a member of this board. I love you all. Thank you. We were waiting for Woody, and now he's here. He told me six <laughs> you mean you get off that easy? No, no. Woody, how you doing? I'm good. Come around behind for you. And I think your wife has a contribution to this also. So, and I always do what my wife tells me to do. So yes. I'm going to do what your wife tells too. Okay. All right. <clears throat> These are Ann's words. From the time Paul was a young boy, he wanted to lead and he was, a natu he was natural at it. He found that leading in an elected position was the best way to make a difference. So in junior high, high school, and even college, Paul ran for office. Whether it was as president of his senior class at Carmel High School, or a social chair for Phi Delta Theta at IU, or through IU Foundation Steering Committee, Paul has been committed to a life of service. He has always been a leader willing to offer his many talents and skills for the good of the communities he served. He grew up in a culture that valued education. His mother, grandmother, and wife were all teachers, along with many other family members. So it was no surprise when he was offered and accepted the chance to run for school board with Bruce Breeden, Steve Backer. In the 90s, the three Bs were a formidable team, Breeden, Backer, and Bolin. They were committed to listening to teachers and acting on what they heard. Together they made a difference in Carmel schools, as we all can see as our schools on a regular basis. <clears throat> to Carmel schools, after eight years of serving on the school board, Paul was ready to run for Clay Township Board. Serving 16 years on this board, Paul brought great, brought Paul great, great joy. He especially enjoyed working with the board members who became his friends. Paul has brought a lot of knowledge and a lot of humor, decency, and good common sense, which is needed in politics, <laughs> to public service in our community. He will miss all his buddies on the Clay Township Board, and he will definitely miss serving the people of Carmel. And we're going to miss having him serve us. So the mayor and the city is very proud to offer the Rangeline Rear Pioneer Award. And it's whereas pioneers of the early 1800s settled in what is now Carmel, Indiana, bringing with them the spirit of friendship, a characteristic of, that continues to thrive in the community today, 
and whereas the City of Carmel supports those citizens who live inside and outside the community who have been a friend to, and whereas he has endeared himself to the citizens of Carmel, Indiana, Paul K. Bowen, as a friend of Carmel, helping to keep the spirit of the pioneers alive, those citizens who dreamed of a community rising in the dense forest of frontier country, and because of his friendship, Carmel has a brighter future. Now, therefore, I, not I, James C. Brainerd, Mayor of Carmel, Indiana, do hereby appoint him to the rank and title of Rangeline Pioneer. Thank you, Woody. Thank you. Just a, a point of order, chair, Chairperson. Um, under agenda item four, I'm sorry, agenda item six for the public hearing, that was uh, accomplished. We didn't actually introduce the resolutions, which we need to do for the record tonight. No action has to be taken tonight, but just at tonight's meeting, we need to introduce resolution 2018 12 11 3 and resolution 2018 12 11 2. Um, so no would, action will be taken on these until, I believe, December 27th. Do you need to move to introduce them, or did you yeah. just introduce them? I don't have the power to introduce them, so, so you, yes, you do. I would, so I would, moved. I would second Paul's movement of resolution 2018-12-1103 and 2018-12-1102. You made the motion. I seconded. Uh, and he seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? So we'll Is act on this on the 27th. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's more. Okay. Okay. Does. Okay. We're waiting for you. Okay. Any uh, announcements? Um, you already given. No, since I'm out of breath. No. Uh, um, nothing except for the dates I told you earlier. All right. That uh, December 27th will be the second reading of that. Okay. Uh, it was time you guys will vote on that. And sign off, hopefully. Okay. Uh, but uh, no, nothing else. But Paul, congratulations. You better stop in and see me. You know, I, I need somebody, I need the, that uh, mail support, you know, from time to time in my office. What <laughs> in my office, Paul. I'm not sure what I, I got have. your back. I'm your mail support, whatever, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm not a jockstrap, Doug, but I'll <laughs> call it a lot worse, but. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Before we adjourn tonight, I know the board, both Matt and I would like to make comments. I'd like to know if any of you would like to make some comments. We have a three minute limitation, so you can't go on forever, but if you'd like to get up and talk about how you know Paul and, and your feelings, we'd love to have you do it. Some of their feelings, I don't think I want to know. But <laughs> oh, Why well, close sure. that part of the meeting? All right. <laughs> Man. They probably can't say it all. I, um, it's just been an absolute honor, Paul. I appreciate it. Some of my favorite memories of you is driving to work and being madder in hell and calling you, and you don't talk for about 15 minutes, and then at the end you go, well, bud. <laughs> Did you get it all off? <laughs> there were a few of those calls. <laughs> but you've been just a pleasure to work with, supportive of, of all the initiatives, whether you, if you don't agree with them, you find a way to tactfully kind of navigate them and make them so that we can all be involved. I am a little disappointed that I've been sitting up here for eight years and just learned you're a fraternity brother. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how we skipped over that over the beers we've had. Um, I'm going to miss you, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. I'd sure like to thank you. I'm not going to have anybody put my chair up anymore. <laughs> oh, I think, he, I think Big Paul can do it. I think Paul can handle that very well. You can just sit on his lap if you'd like. Personally.
Um, I think the board that we have here has worked together so well. It's the blending of a lot of ideas and respect for each other. And a lot of that's do you. You're so easy to work with. And, and I'm really going to miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any announcements we need to know? None. Okay. Can I have a motion for adjournment, please? So moved. Second. Any conversation on it? All in favor say aye. 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 Anybody else?